What is up, Word by Tenno? Peace and Grease here, and a um, little bit of a late response video, but ever since I published my Nora's Choice intermission video, I've been getting hit with messages from you guys and gals saying that all you want going forward is intermission style night waves. But the truth is, you don't. And I know that sounds presumptuous of me to say that you don't want something that you're asking for, but in this case, you really don't. And let me explain why. Because I don't think a lot of players out there or some content creators are really considering the big picture. So let's first start with something we can all agree on. The first of which is that the biggest influx of new rewards is always going to be your full production nightways. And the reason for this is because DE develops all of these new rewards with the full production nightwaves. Intermissions, on the other hand, have always recycled those old rewards. And that's the way it has been for every single solitary intermission, including the one we are in right this second. Now, that being said, sure, they may offer a couple of new items, but that pales in comparison to your full production nightwaves. Now, it's no secret that I enjoy the full production nightwaves. I like being told stories in this Warframe world and about these characters in this Warframe world, hence why I get excited about new quests like, i.e. the new war. Now this is typically where the rebuttals start. The coulda, shoulda, wouldas. DE could do this. DE should do that. Sure, DE could do a lot of things. Do I really foresee DE spending time, resources, money, and developing all new rewards for a simple intermission? No. And keep in mind, DE's developers don't work for free, and I want to be clear when I say money that that's what we're talking about. I certainly do not foresee that. I, if I'm wrong, I'll make a video saying that I'm wrong. But do I really foresee DE spending the next two or three years doing nothing but intermission style night waves going forward with all new rewards every single intermission? No. And I, and I guess I'll use that old adage of the proof is in the pudding, which is kind of a weird adage, isn't it? Like, what, what is the proof in the pudding? But anyway, I digress. The point is <laughs> that we've seen enough intermissions thus far to know exactly what they are and what they're going to continue to be. Now, at this point, maybe you're sitting there saying, you know what, Peace, I don't care what you have to say. I want this wing of Imra. Or maybe you're saying, Peace, I don't care what you have to say. I want this two-handed Akana skin. Fair enough. That's what it's there for. Go and get it. But before you go, let me ask you a question. Are you going to be as excited about this two-handed Nikana skin the eighth time you see it? Or will you be as excited the twelfth time you see this Wing of Imra? Probably not. The reason I ask that is, do you think it's a weird coincidence, or just personal, just me, that I'm seeing these rewards many times now? No, and no. In fact, let me illustrate my point. Not a new reward, seen it a couple times thus far. Not a new reward, same thing. Not a new reward, seen it at least two or three times. Not a new reward, seen it at least twice. Not a new reward, seen it two times, maybe three. Not a new reward, at least three times. Not a new reward, at least three times. Not a new reward, maybe seen it twice now, maybe more. Not a new reward, seen it probably twice now. If we get intermission style night waves going forward, you are going to quickly wind up in the same exact boat the rest of us experienced and veteran players are. And that is that you're going to be seeing the same rewards over and over and over again. And this leads to yet another problem, and that is player engagement. The reality is that intermissions have never and will never encourage player engagement. In fact, if somebody tries to sell you Buffalo you on that BS, call them out on it, because stats show otherwise. Every intermission, my response is, I leave the game. The last intermission, I only got to rank 20, and to be honest, I didn't think I got that high. I, I, I legitimately thought I was at rank 10 or 12. Why? Because I was off playing Legendary, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This one, I'm at rank 1. What are we on, the third week now? I don't plan to get much higher than that. And that's not out of spite. Because I'm elbows and knee deep in the game Shadow of War. Side note, I love the Shadow of Mordor. I was excited a couple years ago when I heard they were making a, a sequel. 
But I heard it was a hot mess when it launched and was filled with really bad microtransactions, so I gave that game a pass. I've heard they've since fixed it, so I'm going to check it out. But I don't plan to be playing this game. We still don't have Nidus Prime, so I don't plan to be here for this intermission. Now, your response here may be, yep, yep, a piece. That's you. No, it's not. I know dozens and dozens and dozens of players who their response is the same thing. Oh, an intermission? I'm gone. And they go do something else. And I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. You can choose to grind your way through an intermission in which you already have three quarters of the rewards. Or you can go do something else you haven't done before. This is very much in the same kind of ideology as uh, going on vacation. Would you go on vacation to a place you've been multiple times before and you've seen the sites multiple times and you've done the activities multiple times? Or would you go to a different location? Someplace you've never seen before. Obviously, I'm going to choose the second one. I'm going to go someplace I haven't been before. Well, here we are. Do I choose to stay here in this game? Or do I choose to go do something else I haven't done before? Obviously, it's the latter. We all only have a set amount of time we can devote to something, and we have to choose where we invest that time. And when it comes to intermissions, I choose to take my time and I go some elsewhere. And it's hilarious to watch my messages light up every time we get an intermission. Yo, you on? Yeah. What's it look like? Eh, you already got all the rewards. Cool. I ain't coming back. Every single time. So no, it's not just me. Now at this point, I'm probably going to get somebody to say, Okay, yeah, but Peace, you get cred offerings. Okay, and what of it? What would you like me to buy? Your response is typically going to be, buy something you don't have. Okay. What would that be? Because I have it all. DE doesn't add new cred offerings all that often. And the influx of creds that I get allows me to quickly buy it up, even if it's not good. And I'm back to where I started, buying Catalyst and Kuva. And see, this, this goes back to what I said in my initial video, where there's a problem when your most exciting item is Catalyst and Kuva because they're not exciting at all. It's just a resource. For example, if they were truly exciting, you would think you would see people going, ooh, cryotic, so fun, so exciting, so fresh, so new. Cryotic, it's amazing. Calms, wow, calms, so fresh and fun and exciting and new. Ooh, Lucent Terra Globe, it's amazing. Nanospores, wow. Fun, fresh, exciting, and new. Yeah, obviously I'm being facetious. The point is, they're just resources. Nothing else. In the same way that Kuva and Catalysts and Forma are just resources. Sure, they're great to have. Same thing with weapon slots and Warframe slots. Yeah, they're nice to have. I'll be the first to admit that. But they're just resources. Are they fun? No. Fresh? No. Exciting? No. New? No. Never have been, never will be. They're just resources. That's the reality. Which is hence why I said there's a problem when the most exciting thing in the intermission for your experienced and veteran players are resources. Now, These, all of these reasons are why you don't want intermission style night waves going forward. The very first people right now saying they want intermission style night waves going forward will be the very first people to complain that intermissions are just the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Funny story. Years ago when I was involved quite heavily with the Bioware forums, a trend started there that they wanted open world in a Mass Effect game. Those of us that were aware that really the cornerstone of a Mass Effect game was the character development and the story and that world building, and it would suffer with an open world element. But people kept rallying for, oh, open world in Mass Effect. A few short years later, we get 
Mass Effect Andromeda, which has, guess what, an open world. And it was a wasted asset. It was a large, empty, vacant lot with vast nothingness. And sadly, the story, the character development, and the world building suffered for that wasted asset of an open world. The point that I'm making is sometimes people have to learn the hard way. And I certainly hope that's not a case with this, but regardless, I will certainly be ready to make content on it when the, uh, the backlash starts over intermissions or just the same thing over and over again. Yeah, they always have been. Always have been. But let me know what you guys and gals think down in the comment section below. Do you still want nothing but intermission style night waves going forward? And until next time, peace out.